and two antique malls that we're in. Maumee Antiques in Maumee, Ohio, and Plaza Antiques in Lincoln Park, Michigan. And we also do our fair share amount of show too with the Vintage Market. So today we are going to the garage sale at the Monroe County Fairgrounds in Monroe, Michigan at the Expo Center. So they have this twice a year. And um, this is the fall one. And uh, come on along with us. So here we are at the Expo Center at the Monroe County Fairgrounds. It looks like we can park it here in the sun is mighty bright so it's kind of hard to see probably but uh so we're gonna go park on the side here and get in line i could see a line from the road so uh, hopefully it's that good let's check it out so we go in about the middle of the building here but look at the line it's already getting long so let's get in this line so we can get in in so here's a nice overall shot of the building that we're going into there's actually two buildings at this show this is the larger of the two, so um, I'm going to start here this time because I have some favorite dealers over in the corner I want to check out and see what kind of new stuff that they brought to this show that I typically buy stuff at. Okay, we're going to spread it out a little more. Oh, okay. There you go. There we go. That's just I see. all the same stuff you saw last time you were here. Yeah, you might look more interesting this time. See? I got some more rings, but I didn't them Oh, did you? What kind of rings you got? Just cheap. Pretty. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, I'm all about the rings. Well, you got the sizes and everything. Yeah, I got a sizer, but I don't know if it's correct. Yeah, it probably is. Close. That one I want for sure. This one I'll take. That one I'll take. <laughs> um, so we've got Mark and let's turn this over. Mark has stuff here. Right? There you go. I saw one thing. Just an this. M. And then Jacob. And then Rita. Or Carrie. I don't know how I marked things. So, oh, I'm glad I came here first. You don't have to really keep track of my stuff. So. I want all these for sure. Good okay. thing you got them out, huh? <laughs> I got too many. It's like, man. This is pretty. Yeah. That one's really pretty. Like a marker site. Would you give me a better deal if I just buy them all? I might. Okay. <laughs> this one's expensive, so we'll pass on that one. Okay, what would you do on all those? Nope, just this one. 21. 21. What do you think? How about 16? That's perfect. So there's a variety of objects in this uh, garage sale. You never know what people are going to bring. There's a lot of glassware and figurines and toys and, and tons of jewelry. So I always like checking all that out. Boy, this was a neat piece. Was well, very unusual. I've never seen that one before. That was really neat. Um, a lot of the stuff um, I don't buy because uh, it's not price for me to resell. Decent prices and everything as far as that goes. 
but for me i need to be able to triple items to make a profit so i'm looking for some bargain deals at this sale and halloween's just around the corner so i'm always looking at halloween and christmas stuff those seem to go uh, really well in the booth this time of year here was a nice bag of the seven dwarfs i thought that was kind of interesting i didn't know what kind of value to put on that but i thought those were pretty cool here's some more bags of toys they had a lot of cool bags of toys but i'm i'm kind of dealing in toys but yeah i'm not, not quite sure what i'm doing on that yet so we're um kind of doing things on a trial basis and seeing how it goes that's not primarily what i normally buy but you know it's always good to venture into other things those little plastic things that are seasonal have become quite valuable i've sold quite a few for a friend of ours and got very good prices on those so here's some more dishes and even looks like some snowshoes and glassware and here's a nice little fenton shoe and i did pick up on that it was only a dollar can you believe that that was a no-brainer so for sure i picked up on that and that was in the same booth as um, the rings that i got previous so um, i usually buy quite a bit from those particular de dealers and um, they know i put shots on my youtube and that's cool what a nice piece of Fenton that was, too. Their prices are always reasonable. I probably should have bought more from them because the prices were so good. But I did get the shoe. And I did get the rings. And um, it's actually two people, and they divided the booth in half this time. Normally, they just put it all together. It was easier for them to figure out the prices if they divided it and half and had their own booth this was beautiful that was a crystal pin set with earrings to match for three dollars what a bargain that's twenty dollars all day and it's kind of hard to see that but um there'll be um a recap at the end here now there's two parts to this video this is the first part there were so many good dealers to see that uh, we divided it up in half so make sure you stay tuned next week for the second half and lots of jewelry. I got some bags of jewelry there. They were really good deals. So I was digging through all of that. That's primarily what I got. I got some other things too, but I mainly got jewelry this time. Really good place to go when you're looking for jewelry for reasonable prices. But you do have to dig a bit. So this is my friend's um, d uh, booth. Dayton and Becky and um, they always have really reasonable prices too and uh, I definitely have to come and see them in the beginning because they have some really good uh, deals and they're always willing to negotiate and, um, um, and they have the best stuff too so I definitely get, went and checked it out their jewelry is really nice they have a big container of rings here I was looking at that looked kind of cool and they were only a dollar a piece so i definitely checked those out all right now i gotta look at all these rings for a dollar hey if you want them all you have them all for ten i'll take them all there you go see there we go <laughs> yep you can have them all for ten <laughs> all right that made it easy yeah that way you won't have take to look, look at them that sounds great yeah there's a lot of nice ones in here yeah there is a lot of nice and your i got some ankle bracelets here too for those don't go good for no? me okay. no no in the summer i saw a lot of those yeah keeping good Yep, all right. and keeping Looking good. There. So definitely a bargain on all those rings. Thanks so much for giving me that deal. And there was quite a lot of rings in there. There was more than 30 for sure. So I'm really happy with that. They weren't real valuable, but um, still nice just to put out on the counter some cheaper rings so people can grab right from the counter and not have to wait, get a key to get into things. They have beautiful Fenton and some very nice depression glass. And like I said, their jewelry is very reasonable price. Those dragonflies, I have actually bought a few from, of those in the past and done quite well on those. And $5, she you can't go wrong with that. They're newer, but they're still very nice. And here's some more of their booth. They had some lots of toys this time. So I see that they're dabbling in toys too. They kind of motivated me to dabble in toys a little bit too. <laughs> so we're both kind of doing that. So here's a nice overall shot of the building. Again, you can see there's quite a lot of dealers there. Definitely worth the trip if you're in the area. And they had clothing and things for children. And these things here, that little toy there with the giraffe and all the little pieces. She gave me all that stuff for a dollar. 
So that was a no-brainer, and uh, we have a baby in our family now that we're buying for, so um, it's nice to get those items for so reasonable. So that was a great, great deal. Thanks so much for that, to that dealer. And that thing lit all up, it was, it was really cute. <laughs> so back in the baby business, and uh, that also went with it for a dollar. They all hooked on that big stuffed giraffe back there. And here's some more glassware and some baking dishes and a nice tablecloth. And all these little bags of jewelry. I definitely always got to check all those out, see what's in there. I like to deal in smalls because they're just easy. And they don't take a lot of room and you could do quite well on those. Smalls are just a term that's used for just small items. And there's a nice cabinet with chicken in there. That was cool. If I had a place for it, I'd like that cabinet in my house. That was really nice. And here was some more clothing. And like I said, every dealer has different things. And some dealers have a mix mash of everything. Sometimes there's antiques. Sometimes there's new stuff. Sometimes it's clothing. Sometimes it's linen. You just really never know what people are going to bring here. And that's what makes the sale so much fun. Because even if you don't find anything maybe for the antique mall, you can find stuff for your personal life and get some goodies. So I was definitely digging through those shirts. They were my size. I couldn't find anything I liked, but they were pretty cute. So um, even though I dug through them all, I ended up passing on those. Cute. That one was cute there with the... It almost looked like it said junking with Lou on it, but it was junking for life. I'm not sure what that means. But anyways, I thought, boy, that would mean something if it just said junking. I could have added the Lou on there later. <laughs> and they had some nice jeans. And there's some more shoes. And even some toys. And there's some candles and glass jars and some home decor and lots of holiday items. I kind of checked out the prices of those because I have one right now in my booth. I wanted to see if I was reasonably priced. And they had, I believe, around $10 on it. I think I have eight on mine. So, But theirs was a little bit nicer. So that was about right. And look at all this jewelry. Wow. Lots to look at. And the jewelry prices were so varied. Some was so very high. Some were so reasonable. Some was too cool of collectibles. And this lady had... The best bake light bracelets I have ever seen. And actually, I know her too. And and although I didn't buy from her because our prices are probably pretty similar, she has the best stuff you could find. <laughs> they really know what they're doing. And um, they have some very fine items. And they had postcards. And here's some rings from a, another one, another dealer, another jewelry dealer that I've bought in quite a few rings from from the past too. Didn't see any this time that I wanted. Nice pins. And here's some glassware again. I love those $2 tables. <laughs> All kinds of toys and Halloween items. I was looking for Monster High dolls. They seem to be a hot commodity right now. Didn't find any. And here's some pins here. And uh, this lady I've also bought from in the past too. And um, I ended up buying a few couple rings from her, but the, she did have beautiful pins. But right now, I'm really pretty full with jewelry. I don't need a lot. Um, so um, unless it's a really, really great, great deal, I'm going to probably pass. Just because I got a high amount of inventory right now. And those were really good deals. For buying for yourself, I mean, they're, you can't beat that. I, I cannot even compete with those prices. But their prices are really good. So I looked around in there and certain ones were like two for five or two for three or whatnot. So I had to verify that with her, which tray was what. So I ended up going to the cheaper trays and picking up a few things there. And she had some pumpkins too. And that was a pretty ring. I got that one. And there's another one I picked up. I believe it was like, oh, I can't remember if it was three for five or what it was, but I'll recap it at the end and tell you some of the prices. 
but they were very good bargains. I can't pay much more than about two, three dollars per ring to be able to put it up enough to make a profit on, on it, unfortunately. Um, those are pretty crystal earrings. The clip ones, though. And over here, we have a nice piece of Caprice by the Cambridge Glass Company. It's um, elegant glass that was made in the uh, Depression era. And a little box and lots of toys. This, this dealer had tons of new toys. I'll tell you what, if I had a lot of Christmas gifts to buy, I would be buying some of these toys. They were really nice. They're brand new. What more could you ask for? And a lot of the clothing, the children's clothing was brand new too. So that was super cool. Um, we don't have a lot of little ones in our family, but boy, if you had a lot of little ones in your um, family for Christmas, you could sure buy a lot of good stuff. This lady is a huge jewelry dealer. Her collection is amazing. I think she might even have me beat because she brings, she gets like two or three booths and she just lays all these tables out with tons and tons of jewelry. And it, it is pretty amazing. She's a nice lady. I've talked to her in the past. And we've bought and sell stuff from each other in the past, too. But wow, look at the stuff. The whole booth was just full of those trays. And here's a nice booth with some Halloween items in it. We're getting close to the holiday here. So that's why these items are all out right now. Although I tend to buy holiday items year round. If it's something really cool, I'll just hang on to it. This was a really cute display with lots more holiday items. A lot of new items in this booth too. I think the, a lot of the dealers are maybe are buying pallets or maybe they go to bin stores. I'm not sure, but there was a lot of I items that were new at the sale, which was cool. It was nice to see and you could pick up some stuff for really reasonable. So I like that kind of stuff too. Doesn't always have to be all antique. I like everything. And here's some more new items. And there's some Christmas type items. And some more toys. And here's some nice signs. And some more new items. And here's some nice depression glass. And some baby items. I tried to show a variety of things so you could see how the garage sale is and how what types of things you're going to find there. Oh, that game was so cool. Me and my brother had that game when we were kids. And we used to, I don't know if you remember how that worked, it was vibrating all those little figures. And we used to make all the football players dance. But <laughs> it was a fun game regardless. It'd be fun to get another one and pull that out during a holiday party. <laughs> I'm sure it definitely would be good conversation so here's some more jewelry in here that I'm kind of digging through and looking and lots of dishes and beautiful lamps and some more dishes and these uh, were actually fire king and they were dirt cheap they were like a dollar and two dollars and I debated I don't know should I get them off should I not get them off milk glass doesn't always sell great for me Gosh, the price was definitely right. They definitely wanted to move it. I probably should have picked it up. But So this is part one of two. So make sure you stay to, uh, tuned till next week, and we'll have the second part. This is Lou from Lou's Antiques and Collectibles saying goodbye, and we'll see you again. Bye.